welcome back to my channel. So we are just gonna spend a couple days together and I'm getting ready to walk down to get my mail. Our mailbox is about a mile and a half away from the house, but I discovered a route that round trip is about three miles uphill both ways. So that is my cardio <laughs> and my workout because I don't feel like driving 40 minutes to town to go to the gym every single day. So. We're gonna get some mail and then I'm gonna grab the chainsaw and we are gonna go cut some wood. We have a wood burning stove. Um, we also have electric heat, but we try not to use it because it is <laughs> very expensive. So the more wood we can burn, the more money there is for cute stuff from Target because we're saving on our electric bills. I am gearing up. I've decided to put on my car hearts because it is really, really cold outside. And even though I typically work up a sweat when I walk, as soon as I get back, I want to start cutting that wood and I don't feel like taking off my boots again and then putting my car hearts on, you know what I mean? We're just trying to be efficient here today. <laughs> I am going to go out the front door instead of the back door because... Oh! I was gonna say all of our birds are munching on their snacks, but I just, did you just see that squirrel? There he is. Oh, little clown. That is chips. If you've ever wondered what I do when I'm not filming, uh, I spend most of my time standing outside screaming at the squirrel because <laughs> he's so mischievous. Such a clown. Chips. Chips. I'm seeing you. I'm seeing you. I'm still seeing you. Chips. I hear you. So pretty. I also love the fact that it has stops so I don't give you vertigo. I can walk in the middle of the road and not have to worry about being creamed by a car. That is a top selling point <laughs> for me and my husband these days. Like literally, I could probably just lay down in the middle of the street and be fine. Work on my tan, whatever. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty. So we had a couple packages today. Uh, my mailman, our mailman, knows that I walk down to get the mail every day. And he's so sweet. If there's a big package, he'll just bring it right up to the house. He's awesome. <laughs> so I leave him lots of cookies in the mailbox. Here's our property. Yay. And there's our house. So usually when I'm filming, I'm standing right in front of those windows there. And this is my paper chainsaw. It's like the tiniest little thing. It's only a 12 inch blade, but <laughs> it's what I'm comfortable using. Although I am starting to get cocky and I feel like I'd like to graduate to a bigger one. This is also going to be my tripod. <laughs> I have you guys propped up against a rock. So obviously when you chainsaw, you want to put on safety glasses, my friends, at all times, and also gloves, which I'm going to put on right now so the internet doesn't freak out. <laughs> Crackers! So we're gonna take this first satchel of wood up to the house on the other side so we can cut it and, I'm sorry, split it later. The other thing I wanna make sure is that these dead trees don't have any like critter nests in them. I don't wanna disturb a critter nest or disturb my birds. 
I hope they don't have any nests in there. So before I cut, I am definitely going to check. And if it looks like somebody is living in there, then I will move on to another one that is vacated. So I was originally taking all those big chunks of wood from down there all the way around the corner. I was like, what am I doing? I'll just back the truck up and load them. Oh! I feel like jelly. <laughs> Everybody's coming out today. This is our usual crew. They get snacks in the morning and evening. You want your snacks? Hi, you gonna come get your snacks? I've gotta go that way. Let's see, I don't wanna scare you. Hi. Yeah, let me get out of your way. Hello. I'm almost done and I'm glad because I am tired. <laughs> that is a good workout. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, good morning. I dyed my roots today. They were starting to come in. They've been coming in like every four weeks, honestly. And also this is a new foundation shade. This is from Beauty Pie. I love their foundations. And I just started taking collagen peptides, which is interesting because I don't eat meat. I'm a pescatarian. I'll eat fish. I can't really have dairy because I have a lactose intolerance. Just having read up on the benefits of collagen peptides, I was really impressed with what it can do for joint pain and just your hair and your nails and your skin. Um, my nails, I'm trying to get them to behave. 
I started taking calcium supplements about a month ago and I noticed a big difference. They're splitting less, they're breaking less, but they're still not where I want them to be. So I'm hoping that the collagen will really give them a boost because I want beautiful natural nails. I just made lunch. Um, I am absurd. I just made lunch. I am obsessed with tuna pouches from Starkist. This is the Thai chili style on Triscuits. And then I always, well, lately I've been having a salad. Um, I throw oregano and basil in with some balsamic vinegar and olive oil. It is so good. And then I am loving you guys, this cheese. If you're looking for a dairy alternative to cheese, you must try this out. You can get it at Target. I'm sure you can get it at Whole Foods. We don't have one of those around here, but it is so good. I love it. I'm going to bring you with me to chop some wood because that's what we do when we live in the mountains. Here's where we're gonna grab from. This is called a slash pile. Um, it's basically timber that's been cut either during a build or if the forestry department cuts it down because it's infested with beetles or they're trying to thin out the forest to cut down on the potential for fires. This happens to belong to my neighbor who is in the process of building that lovely home. And he said we could pick through it and take whatever we wanted before he takes this little slash pile of his to a larger slash pile deeper in the National Forest. Sweet setup to film. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stop because normally when I switch batteries, I re-oil the chainsaw and I was lazy and didn't bring the chainsaw oil. <laughs> so if I keep going, I will literally burn up the motor and that will be no bueno. And then we will split this later and stack it. Some of it is good enough to burn this year, but most of it is for next year. So that will do it for Friday night fun. I think we're going to go to the brewery now. I don't even drink, but it sounds like a really, really good idea. <laughs> oh, here's the irony of trying on spring dresses for your spring dress haul video when this is what's going on outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is the view outside of my dressing room window today. They're all my little Junkos that I feed Every day, we just got hammered with snow in the beginning of April, yay. And so we had like gale force winds today. The snow was blowing, it was falling, it was insanity. So yeah, good times in the mountains uh, in the spring. Never a dull moment. So typically in my dressing room, I keep this rack here filled with whatever I'm going to be filming next. So this is for an upcoming Target video. Um, this is from an old Navy order. These are the things I'm considering keeping. And then my H&M order just came in. And typically what I do is I'll just pull everything out of the packaging, get them ready to be ironed or steamed. And then, so everything usually comes in plastic. And what I do is I just indicate on the bag which item I pulled out of the bag. That way, whatever I'm returning goes in the original bag. So I'm hoping that makes it easier <laughs> for the people in the warehouse just to process a return. These lotions and 
bath scrubs are from this sweetheart grace oh my gosh what a doll so not only does grace run the etsy store with her grandma she also started her very own nonprofit. so it's called grace's gang this is so awesome so one of the projects of grace's gang included collecting freezer pops to donate for cancer patients and grace collected over nineteen thousand. You can see her Facebook page under Grace's Gang. That is so sweet, you guys. Go check out Grace's Gang on Facebook. Some of the things they sent me. This is the bath scrub. Their store is on Etsy. So I will link all their information on screen down below. Go check them out. I did just try the lotion. It is divine. It sinks into the skin. It feels really, really good. And then Beth, who is a viewer and has become a good friend of mine, she painted this picture based on a photo I had taken um, of where I live. So she sent that to me a couple months ago and I have it hanging on my wall in my dressing room. I love it. Thank you, Beth. Totally random too, but I included these in my Target order because we have been in need of salt and pepper shakers and... <laughs> When I tell you how long it took me to pick out a new pair, you would laugh. I'm not even going to tell you. I wanted to make it a deliberate choice, something beautiful. Yes, even salt and pepper shakers. They're originally 15 bucks, which isn't bad. This is teak wood, and they went on sale for half off, and so I pounced. And you guys, an update on the Sell My Closet for Charity. You guys raised $356 for Gunner's Wheels Foundation. So I just had that uh, balance transferred from my Poshmark to my PayPal account. And we just sent in our donations. So thank you guys so much. I am so happy. You guys are the best. Is this angle better? I feel like the last one made me look as though I had a mustache and also very dark circles <laughs> under my eye. I have just windows in front of me. I have no fancy lighting. I have no fancy technology. We're just, we are doing it homegrown today. Let's see if I have any life updates to give you. Um, I've been traveling a lot, which has been awesome. I've been to Kansas. Dallas, Uray, Colorado. <gasps> you guys, if you've been to Uray, let me know down below what you thought. Uray and Telluride are like right next door. Telluride is about 10 miles west as the crow flies, but because you can't get through that big mountain, you have to go around it. So it's about 50 minutes in the car. I know everybody goes crazy about Telluride and it is a fun town. Like it is bougie. They've got beautiful shops. They've got all these restaurants that you will pay an arm and a leg to eat in. The slopes are gorgeous. The hiking is stunning, but the vibe is just very cold. <laughs> like it is, it's chilly there. If you know what I'm saying, it's so different from you, Ray. You Ray is like this darling little mountain town super chill everybody is so laid back down to earth these are like salt of the earth people my son and i fell in love with you ray oh my gosh the hotel we stayed at and every hotel there is mom and pop there's not a single chain of anything which is awesome but the hotel we stayed at served s'mores every night out by a campfire they would light in the back awesome i got home and was like my pants don't even fit <laughs> like oh, oh, whoa it was crazy but it was so much fun we went on these insane hikes that were like three to four hours long we got to an altitude of nine to ten thousand feet um just like one of those types of hikes where by the end you're thanking god that you're still alive because the conditions were probably not the best for hiking we had ice we had snow up to our thighs at one point we got lost um but it was so much fun so beautiful and like i said the people of uray are just phenomenal it is a super cool town if you have plans to go on a road trip through colorado you've got to go to uray i am obsessed with uray it is so much fun it reminds me a lot of the town in kansas 
Cortland that I wrote the book about, just like this really sweet place that just has so much soul. And in fact, update on the book. So I just handed in final edits to my publisher and the next phase is to come up with a cover, which is super exciting. And it looks like we will be publishing for sure in the fall. They're just not really exactly sure when it'll come out in the fall. I'm hoping for August just because the timing of it would be perfect, but it could be as late as November um, just because of supply chain issues, um, lack of people working at the printers, you know, yada, 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 what everybody's dealing with right now. But it'll come out when the good Lord wants it to come out. I really don't have any concerns about that. I'm just excited that this is finally happening. When it came to lips, I have just been exclusively using two, to be honest with you. The first is from Honest Beauty. Their tinted lip balm, oh my gosh, there's a fuzzy on it. This is so gorgeous. It is really nourishing. And then you just get this really subtle hint, this little flush of color, so pretty. And it just feels good on the lips. And then I also discovered this is from Ilia. This is their tinted lip balm in the shade hold me again always looking for a true pink that does not have like a peachy pink that doesn't have blue undertones so here's the lip tint from honest and then here is the lip balm from Ilia. like how pretty are these two shades um i think today i'll go with the Ilia on my lips Okay guys, so obviously this is the final look. So thank you guys so much for spending your time with me and putting up with this rambling video. <laughs> I hope you're having a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, this is EcoTools biodegradable beauty sponge. I was so excited to find this at Ulta. I literally had been hoping to find a biodegradable beauty sponge. In fact, the box it comes in is also compostable, which is super cool. There goes my cuckoo clock.